All right, everybody. So we're gonna walk out here and do a check on these goats before we get into our little project for the day. See how they're doing. This one's still here, but she's about to leave. That one out there, he's about to leave. Hey, Billy, come here. All right, well, he don't want to come over here. Ooh, I can fill that water up. What's that blue thing in there? So, hey, big mama. Hey. Oh, I know you ain't got no horns no more. You can't scratch that, huh? Oh, I know. So, we're going to walk out here and check on these babies before we go build our next little deal. I know this gate's loud, but this is what we got. All right. Get that locked in there. Hey, Lewins. Hey, Lewins. Come here. Come here. Well. And Billy's got his head through the fence. So, they still a little skittish. They like to jump and run. But they come over here by their mama. And their mama's a good goat. Your mama's a good goat. Yeah. You doing good, Mama? Hmm. All right. Hey, little one. Hey, little one. Oh. Yeah. So I like to run and play. Have a good time. Come here, you. Come here. Hey. Hey, I got him. I got him. Hey. hey. Look here. Look here. See, see, it's okay, Mama. It's okay, Mama. All right, there you go. There you go. Why are you letting them be so wild, Mama? We ain't spent a whole lot of time. We've been busy with all kind of stuff going on around here. So, and then this one here, she got really good for a little bit. Right before she had them babies, she calmed down, but she, uh, as you can see, she's right back to her normal self. Hey, little one. Hey, little one. Hey, little one. Hey, come here, you. Mama's calling you over there. And being that she had tri being that she had triplets, they uh goats only got two udders. Hey little one. Hey boy. Hey. Hey. Look here. Look here. Hey. Hey. Hey mama. Hey little one. Hey little one. What you doing? I got him. It's okay. There you go. There you go. Hey. Hey. Yeah. There's Big Mama. Come and get her visit. <laughs> so, they're all doing good. We got us a little project we're going to do today for this goat and that goat over there. We're going to, uh, we're gonna build a mobile milking stanchion. A little lightweight, small stanchion. Hang on, let me get to the gate. And uh it's gonna be for us to milk them two goats um that are in milk right now. And we'll keep them in milk until uh, later on, we'll, uh, 
we'll breed them back again. Uh, this coming up spring, have fall babies again. And uh, so we'll keep them milk until about a month and a half, two months before they get ready to have them babies. And we'll let them dry up, let them fill back up with colostrum, all that good stuff. So, as you can see, I already got a little bit of wood up here. And yes, the shop is still a mess and full of stuff. But we work in here all the time. So we, we've been going through it little by little, putting stuff up, moving stuff around. But we, uh, I left my little plans I drew up up there at the house. But I remember it in my head. So I'm going to cut some wood and start kind of getting everything set up and ready and then uh once i kind of get some wood cut and and ready to go then i'll uh i'll kind of video how we're putting it together you know sizes dimensions all that good stuff so uh let me get some of this wood cut and then i'll be right back okay well as you can see i got a pile of cut up wood right here now what i did is i started off with this is rough sawn lumber so it's it's pretty close to four inches wide, but I ended up ripping it down. Um, this wide is an uh, inch and three quarters. Um, it's not gonna be super heavy. I, want, I, I started to do it with two by fours, but I figured it would be too heavy to be kind of mobile. So I ripped them in half to try to make it lighter. And it is gonna be Nigerian dwarf goats on there. So it's not gonna be a super ton of weight on there. You're talking about 50 60 pounds you know um so it's not gonna be a lot of weight on there so i think this should hold together just fine um so now basically what i'm gonna do there's a couple pieces that i'm gonna have to trim because i cut them a little too long on purpose that way everything would fit fine um is see these long pieces that two of these are going to be the front legs um to go to go up tall that way we have uh some cross members some uh pivoting points that'll actually clamp you know down on their neck to hold them still um but we uh i, I wanted to make them tall that way i'm gonna hang a, a i'm gonna i cut some pieces also to be able to put a little frame on the back to hold a feed bucket so that we can feed them you know, while they're in the in the stanchion, kind of help keep them keep them uh, occupied while we milk them. We we still don't know how well they're gonna milk, but we're gonna put some little ropes on the back to hold their back legs so they can't kick and all that good stuff. So uh, I'm gonna get to putting this together. It's uh it's pretty basic. It's it's nothing crazy. So I'm gonna get to putting it together and uh. I'll kind of walk you through it as I as I go. I may uh I might just set the camera up right here where you can kind of watch. Drill will be loud, but let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so front leg, front leg. I guess uh, side leg. I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing as I go a little bit, I guess. We'll just kind of tack it together here, there, and yonder, and uh, see. Right, so if I do that, and then this is a leg.
Well, we actually don't have to do that like this. I'll do it that way. So let's do that. I'll put this in there. Yeah. Like so. And if we do the other side that way, and run my two foot piece. Yeah, put off the back. Actually, let's go ahead and put it back on. So, I'll do the other side. Let's try. Somewhat. Okay, I'll screw it long enough for that. I need some more. I need some longer screws in there. I might take all that back apart and screws wasn't long enough. I needed a 
two and a half inch or three inch. I went and got some three inches. So I think that might be a little too long. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be all right. I think. So anyway, let me pull all this back apart and start over again. And I'm I'm gonna get this frame built up and then I'll I'll be back with you. Okay, so I changed a little bit of stuff. Originally, this was going to mount inside here. Now I got to think about it, all the weight is going to be just on that one screw right there instead of having a screw through here and a screw through here and into the leg. So I've kind of redone that for just structural support in case a goat gets to jumping around or beating around or whatever. It's um, so, so far what you're looking at is it's four foot long and it's two foot wide from outside to outside. So I got some of this decking board right here left over from other projects that I'm gonna cut two feet long and we're gonna stack that in right here and fill this section up. That'll give them a good hard solid surface to stand on, no cracks, no gaps. And then right back here, uh, let's see if I can get it in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a mark right there with a circle around it. I'm going to drill a hole through that. And then these boards will be inside like this with a hole in it. And they can go up at an angle like this. Eh, kind of like that. So when the goat comes through, we can close it over on our neck. And once I get it all put together, I'll kind of show you. Uh, probably not with a goat because uh, we haven't started kid sharing the goats yet. Um, I gotta, I gotta get them another little paddock set up to be able to separate the babies at night. That way, uh, we can get milk in the mornings, but that's coming later on. Um, not today and not tomorrow because we got football games tonight, baseball games tomorrow. So, you know, them joys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the holes drilled, get the bolts and get, uh, get the front done get the little shelf put on that's gonna be right here. Um, I think I'm gonna go up a foot from from right here, come up a foot and uh, and mount the bottom of it. That way they can get their head down in the bowl real good while their head's in the, in the, uh, in the little clamp deal. So we, uh, I think I'm gonna start with the decking board first, get that cut in two foot pieces and, uh, once I get that cut and put on there, screwed on there, then it'll be on to the little front pieces right there. So I'm going to set y'all up right over here. Maybe get y'all a little footage, a little time lapse. So enjoy. All right, so let me take a minute to show you this. Now, like I said, this a lot of this wood is all rough sewn. I get it from a local guy, a couple local guys that have lumber mills. So I'm gonna put this square out here by the edge. This is why you always have to square up. Cause a lot of times this is like the end of where they actually cut the tree down at. Now this end, as you can see, is just as bad. I'll take that square. Move it down here just so you can get a reference as to what it's doing. So, uh, I think I actually cut one of those. But just to show you that um, when you're messing with, if you get rough sawn lumber, don't think that the ends are square. Square them up yourself and go ahead and get them good and square because it can throw your whole thing out of whack. Like if I would have measured, if I would have measured that from say this corner, and went down two feet and cut it off. Now that wouldn't have been that big a deal because this end just would have been long. But if I'd have measured from this end, went down two feet, then this end would have been, you know, one foot ten. It wouldn't even been touching. It wouldn't even been touching the frame. So that's just a little, not pro tip, but amateur tip I guess I could give you for uh, messing with that wood is always make sure you square up the end before you cut it. That way you don't have crookedness. So. Anyway, back to it.
Okay, so now that I got all that cut, the cuts are a little wampus, but what I'm gonna do is I got it flushed up on this end and pretty well flush on the sides. I ended up being just a smidge over two feet wide, but it's gonna be all right. I should have measured that first, but I didn't. So it's a goat milk extension. I don't think it's got to be that perfect. So what I'm gonna do is the frame was a little out of square. So I squared it up with this last board. I'm gonna get it secured and then I'm gonna pop that front one in right there with these pinned in between it. And that should force that front around that way so that everything is nice and square. So let me, uh, let me get to that. All righty, and just like that, it's got decking on it, pretty solid. Um, I think it's gonna work pretty good. I'm finna work on getting the uh, holes drilled for these uh, this end and get them two uh, clamp slot slats in there. And then I'm gonna build the little shelf that goes right here. And that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this little build. So uh, I'm uh, I gotta find my other drill. I'll be back. Okay, so what I did was like I showed you previously, you see a bunch of different marks. Um, I was measuring, trying to figure out the best place to put it per se. So I ended up going with three and a half inches in, betw in between dead center. Um, which was like 10 and a half inches from this side in, 10 and a half inches from this side in. Left with me like three inches or so in the middle. So I'm gonna measure down and get center and center, drill a hole through this. I'm hoping, I don't think I got a long enough bolt. No, well, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Probably not with the washers on there. Um, so I might have to find me a little bit longer bolt than that. But I'm gonna get these holes, these two holes drilled, and then these boards will be in here like so. You know, they'll pivot like that. So what I gotta do also is get them right here. Once I get the hole drilled, I'll drill a hole through them, get them set up how I want, and then I'll drill a hole through there into that to mark it, and then pull it out and drill it and put the put the bolts through there. But I can tell you now, I'm definitely you're gonna have to find me a longer bolt. So I'll be back. All righty. So I got the two uh, squeeze <clears throat> squeeze bars in there, I guess you could call them. And you can see down here, I just put a bolt with a lock washer on the end. That way I could tighten the lock washer down, but still leave it enough room so that when the goat's head comes through this way, we'll close these up like this on her neck. And then we'll have a little like rope deal that will slide over the top right here that'll keep her from being able to push them back open. I may end up building a little deal that comes across right here and kind of flops down and holds it in place. But the goat's kind of got a little bit different size necks. So we'll probably end up with just a little, a little rope deal on here. So it'll be open like that. The goat will come in from the front, put her head through this way. Floop, floop. Done. Till we're done milking. So I think it's gonna work pretty good. I like it, pretty pretty simple design. Come out looking kind of nice. So I'm gonna get the shelf put on there. And uh, it, ain't, it ain't a whole lot to the shelf. It's just a little, little small thing that we're gonna put in there. So either way, it'll hold a little food bucket. It'll have a hole cut in the middle. I'll show you all that here in a little bit when I'm done with it. Alrighty guys and gals. Well, got the little shelf put on there. Um, we're probably gonna eventually cut a hole to drop a bucket in there, a feed uh, pail thing in there. Um, but I don't know what we're gonna use yet, so I'm not gonna cut the hole until we have that. That way I know that it'll fit uh, down in the hole just fine. But we got it all set up. Um, I still, I gotta get some rope from town to make. I'm gonna build a little rope to slide over this. And um, goats really like to kick their back legs a lot. So back here, coming off of this, I'm gonna come with some rope up here with a uh, little slip knot on the end to put over their back feet and that'll kind of stretch their back legs out a little bit and it'll keep them from like kicking forward whenever they, uh, whenever you try to milk them, especially ones that don't like to be milked. 
ones that don't mind being milked, they'll pretty much just get up there, stand up there, let you do your thing and go on about your business. But some of them don't like it. So I'm just building it in preparation of some that don't like it. So this is pretty much it. Um, like I said, we'll eventually put a, a food bucket right there and some rope back there. And that's gonna, uh, that's gonna be it. That'll be our mobile uh, goat milking stanchion. It's, I'd say it probably weighs about 65 pounds. Um, it won't be nothing to, to uh, take it out there to the, I'm not sure if we're gonna try to do it in the goat pasture or if we're just gonna bring it out there close to the goat pasture and uh, bring, like lead one goat out at a time and get her up on there and, and do it that way or what. I mean, we're eventually gonna build a, a shed kind of area over there that's gonna house all that kind of stuff so we can lead them in the shed and do it and it'll be attached to their pen. But right now, uh, right now we're still just, we're in the process of building all this stuff. So it takes time, it takes money. And uh, I know a lot of our videos are about building stuff out here on the homestead. It's not really day-to-day -day stuff per se um, because, well, every day I'm pretty much building something. We are working on building this place from scratch. It wasn't nothing but a little small yard and a bunch of woods when we bought the place. And we have, we have been slowly transforming it. So a lot of our videos are gonna be about us building it because we're doing this from scratch. Now we appreciate everybody coming along for the ride and um, everything. We, uh, we, we can't say we thank y'all enough, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook or if you see us on Instagram or whatever. Um, but you can follow us on all those platforms if you don't already. If you don't like them, well, don't follow us on them. It, it's, it's your choice. Um, we do appreciate the support though, and we sure do heat, heat. Lord have mercy. We hope that y'all keep it coming. Y'all keep sharing it. Um, our YouTube's still growing little by little. It's not a lot. We're good for about one new subscriber every week, which is fine with me. Um, Facebook, we're building up pretty good following on there. Got 400 and something people on there, 1120 something on, on, uh, YouTube. So it's growing. It's doing good. We, uh, like I said, we appreciate everybody. We hope y'all enjoy these videos. Y'all leave us some comments, leave us some feedback on what y'all think about what we doing, uh, how we doing it. If y'all have done something different and got different results. Um, so anyway, we appreciate it. And we will see y'all on the next one.